All right, it's going to be a challenge, but how do local businesses on Oahu survive another shutdown? And what kind of financial support could they receive? Joining us this morning is Sherry Menor McNamara, President and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii. Good morning, Sherry, and thanks so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. Now, first off, what's the anticipated impact on businesses with this second shutdown? Yeah, obviously, the announcement of a second shutdown is a devastating blow to businesses who are already in a dire situation. The Hero survey showed that 75% of businesses had already had to cut positions and other types of expenses because of the first shutdown and during the period after that. So for business to again go through another shutdown with only a couple of days announcement uh, is going to have a dramatic impact and um, exacerbate the already uh, very fragile situation. Now, what would be helpful for businesses right now? Yes, you know, we've been serving our members throughout the process uh, and during this time. And the top need is obviously financial support. The city and county of Honolulu does have a grant program that pays up to $10,000, uh, which is something, obviously, but with uh, you know, these two weeks, it's an attorney for many businesses, and they are losing thousands per day. Uh, so we'll need to have to step up the financial support. Uh, unfortunately, one, Hawaii is one of 11 states, one of 11 states that do not have any type of statewide financial support program. So we urge and we implore uh, state go the government to come up with some kind of financial hardship program for businesses. And what support services can the chamber offer business owners out there that are struggling right now? Yeah, it's certainly been a difficult and challenging situation for our local businesses. Uh, and one of the things is, uh, question is where to find information. Uh, so our website is a one-step center with uh, resources that they can uh, look at. Uh, we also set up a small business hotline help center at COCH now. That C O C H N O W. Uh, so if we can't find the answers, we'll make sure to connect them to the right resource. And what we really need is a comprehensive statewide program uh, and plan, so that there is more certainty and predictability, and that provides uh, time for business to prepare. Because COVID is not going to go away anytime soon, and we just hope that there will never not be another. This is not a repeated situation. But if there was a plan, then we'd probably be in a, a less vulnerable place. Uh, so we, again, urge for a, a statewide comprehensive plan for business to prepare. Because in the end, it's jobs lost. And we really don't want our people to be on unemployment insurance. And rather, we want them to have a job uh, so that they can benefit. And we, the livelihood of our families uh, will be there. Let me ask you, Sherry, has the government come up or given you any feedback in terms of a timetable of when this comprehensive plan could be coming up? We have not heard anything, and that is uh, what the Chamber, as well as a number of organizations, have been advocating for. All right, there you have it, Sherry Menor McNamara, President and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii. We appreciate your time for all the information for our viewers and business owners, a lot of the mom and pop shops that are Thank struggling right now, big time. Yes. All right, for now, let's send things over to Kelly. Morning, Cal. Good morning.